Alfie, welcome to Brunton Park. When were you made, first made aware that this was happening? Um, it was probably a few weeks ago now. Uh, there's been interest and I've just been sent at Leeds and just been waiting for the call to, to head up. And then the other day I got that call, so just been waiting to get going and meet the lads. So, yeah. What does it do for you when you're at your parent club and you're just doing your normal weekly thing and you hear that there's interest? What does that do for your confidence? Yeah, it just makes you just, you just want to go because obviously being at Leeds is good and stuff, but I want to get playing competitive football again. Uh, so I've just been training and been playing games just to keep my fitness. So that, that when I'm ready to come up, I'm ready to just go straight at it and go straight into the games. Were there many other options? And if there were, what was it that, that swung Carlisle United your way? Yeah, yeah, there was a few. I was just waiting on a few, but Carlisle was just the one that I, where when I first heard interest, was the one I wanted to do because obviously I've heard about the fan base, get good crowds. Um, how well they're doing in the league. It's something I want to be part of, like going for promotion. It's something that I've not experienced yet. So it was something that I was thinking, yeah, this is this is where I want to go. You've nailed it there. It's got to be exciting. A team that sat fourth in the table at this stage of the season, that's something to play for. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, like my last loan, I was at Morecambe and we were more of a relegation scrap. Uh, but coming to a table, coming to a, a team that's fourth in the league and obviously the third, top three go up, it's, a, it's a, been a really good position. So 20 games left, just ready to, to try and put myself in the team and help them get promoted. What kind of things has Paul said to you about what he wants to see from the next few months? Yeah, he obviously knows. I obviously He told me that, where the position are in the league and what the aim is, uh, telling me like how the, uh, he sets the team up and it's something that I can I, I like the sound of, like attacking football, playing good football and um, I just want to just get straight in there and hopefully make a mark on the, t on the team. And what about Leeds? What have they said to you? Just go and enjoy myself, go and, go and uh, play games because at the end of the day that's what it's about. Um, I've been on loan a couple of times before so I kind of know what, what I'm going into being in League 2 before so it's not like I'm going in blind anymore, I know what, what to expect so they kind of just let me go and uh, just go and do my best. Yeah. A question every player loves, describe yourself just in case there's Carlisle fans out there who don't know you. Uh, just so well, hopefully I can do what I uh, did last time I was on loan because uh, I scored quite a few goals at Oldham, so that's what I want to try and replicate again. But I like to get on the ball, pass it about, uh, lay runs into the box. That's where I scored most of my goals, so that's what I'm going to try and try and do again. Are you in a pigeonhole position-wise, Alfie? Have you been sort of tailored to be in a certain position on the pitch, or is it versatility? No, I can uh, anywhere in midfield, really. Uh, that's what the manager said. He said you can see me as more of a holding midfielder or more of a offensive midfielder. So... Um, I'm happy to do either job, whatever the manager asks of me if, when it comes to the games. You've, had, you've mentioned it two loan spells before. Both must have been really interested in terms of the battles that were going on at those clubs. When you're at Oldham and Morecambe going through that, what do you learn? You learn loads, especially with, uh, when you're going in for the first time blind. When I was like 19, you, um, just going into a change room, it's like a different experience. Um, competitive football, like how much it means to the fans and the players and the staff to get the three points but um, from the two years I've been on loan I think I've learned a lot and I hope that this is going to take me into my third year and I'm going to bring this and hopefully help the team. I suppose it's that experience of being in a dressing room where every single point matters I mean that must add something to a match day. Oh yeah definitely especially at Carlisle and how well they're doing in the league they want to stay in the playoffs and get in the promotion places so every point will count coming to the season definitely. I suppose at the end of the day, it's sending a message back to Leeds as well. If you come here and do well, it's, hey, I'm here. Yeah, definitely. Um, I've been at Leeds for a long time now, since I was about eight years old. So I've always, it's, it's my home. I've been there for a while. Played played for the first team a few times as well. So, But I just need to come here and do do the best for Carlisle because that's, that's my job at the end of the day. And I'm really, really looking forward to getting started. Oh, it's your third time out of the club. Do you still get nervous when you come into a new club like this? Yeah, it's always nervous going to a new changing room. You want to be obviously liked and get on well with the lads. Um, but the main reason is to play football and do well for the team. So, um, yeah, I am just can't wait to get started now. What a great time to come in. I mean, we've got a few days before the first game, but then we're going to kick in Saturday, Tuesdays, when again, every point matters. Yeah, I've missed that Saturday, Tuesday feeling. Um, not really training much, just doing my recovery and then just playing the games. That's the, the best bit about football. But I've uh, prepared myself for the for last couple of months to make sure that I'm ready to go into all these big runner, runner games. Talk us through the international stuff because that's unusual for a boy of your age. I mean, you called up every age level and then to the senior level as well. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, playing for Northern Ireland, it's it's great for my family. Obviously, my dad and my mum's mum being from Northern Ireland. Uh, I've been there since playing for the under-16s. 
Um, and I've just worked my way up. Playing for the seniors is obviously the best part. I went with them in the summer. Um, yeah, I was going to these different countries. It's a great experience. You're obviously playing against different types of players. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a real challenge, but it's a good experience. So coming to Carlisle, I hopefully um, put me back into the senior fold. And if I keep doing well, then I'll uh, hopefully get another game for Northern Ireland, hopefully. What's that like, pulling that shirt on a, a senior international level for the first time and walking out in front of a crowd? Yeah, it was amazing. It was, um, I think I was about 18. It was at Windsor Park against Luxembourg. That was my debut, I remember that. That was an unbelievable moment and my family were really proud. Um, then I've done it a few more times, um, but it's just every time you pull on the shirt, it's an unbelievable feeling to represent your country. Um, but like I said, another reason I came here is because I feel if I come here and play well, it'll establish myself in the Northern Ireland senior team. So. Nothing guaranteed, Alfie, in football. You've got to come here and, and earn your place. Definitely, I'm ready just to give it my all, starting on the training ground and hopefully catching the manager's eye and getting the team. Um, but I'm just ready ready to get playing now. I've been the last three, four months staying at Leeds. I've been waiting for this opportunity and now it's come, I'm ready to go. What will it be like the first time you've got the Carlisle shirt on and going out in front of that lot? Yeah, it'd be great. I remember coming here with Oldham, but it was COVID, so there was no fans. So it was empty, so it was a bit of a weird one. So, But I've been watching the games on the Saturday, so obviously I've not been playing, and they, the crowd looks brilliant. Like, on Boxing Day, I watched the game, oh, eight, 9,000 fans, um, and that's what I want to be playing in front of, hopefully scoring goals. Alfie, thank you.